Games on February th the 3rd. Uh, local organizing committee and also members of the Commonwealth Games Federation. Vietnam, Borneo, Malaysia, even Zimbabwe. Your Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, led by the Central Band of the Royal New Zealand Air Force, please welcome the sportsmen and sportswomen of the Commonwealth. led by the band of the New Zealand Royal Air Force. And leading the parade will be the hosts of four years ago, the team from Scotland.
as each team passes the royal enclosure, the team will be introduced to the crowd. And the band will play music from that nation. Escorted by Maori warriors, and there's been a last-minute search going on for national costumes because they're dressing mascots uh, to parade with them. Who march with the teams? You may not see much of them, uh, but you will the last nation to host know who they are if you do. Please welcome representatives from Scotland. <laughs> Tremendous cheer for Richard Corsi in Scotland. Richard Corsi. Competing in the single bells, the current world indoor champion. He won a bronze medal in Edinburgh as a teenager. Blue blazers. Charcoal uh, trousers. And the women in blue blazers with uh, plaid skirts. called the Auckland Stripe, designed by Edinburgh Warren Mill. A lot of metal hilts in the team. On the track, in the bowls, in the shooting, and in the cycling. Scotland ever present at the game since they started in 1930. Australia! Lisa Curry Kennedy, 27 year old swimmer like Sharon Davis, making a comeback. Her third Commonwealth Games, she won three gold medals in Brisbane and then retired to have a baby, but back in competition. Two parlors around. They're familiar yellow blazers. Green skirts, the men. Their green trousers. The Australians had a spell when they reverted from what is their national costume. But they're back in the familiar yellow and green. A very big team indeed. 245. One of, uh, like Scotland, one of only six countries to have competed in every previous Games. Australia, host of the Games on three occasions. Sydney in 38, Perth in 1962, and Brisbane in 1982. That's big Bradley Cooper, gold medalist in the discus in 1982. They boycotted 86. Bahamas discovered by Columbus in 1492. Seven competitors, aqua blue jackets, white trousers. Formerly East Pakistan, Shah Alam, sprinter, from a population of nearly 106 million, 10 competitors. Auckland, by the way, the first games where Bangladesh, India and Pakistan have all competed. Barbados. That lovely island. Eight 
sportsmen and women. Richard Brown, the flag bearer, 56 years old, taking part in the shooting, first competed in the games in 66. Light blue blazers, dark blue trousers. Bermuda! Bermuda, a team of 10, and Clarence Saunders is the Commonwealth record holder, joint Commonwealth record holder in the high jump. One bronze in Brisbane. One of 11 teams to compete in the first games in 1930. First medal winner was uh, John Morby, who was a Birchfield Harrier. He won a silver in the long jump. His son Craig, by the way, competes in the swimming here. Expected Bermuda shorts in uh, brick red. Botswana. Formerly Becky Arnoland. Jason Majesi, a soldier, chosen because he's the youngest team member, competing in the sprints. Light blue and black, the colour combination. We've got uh, one of the oldest competitors, Eve Thomas, at 65 in the women's fours bills. Teodora Clark Island. with the baton. Former goal shoot for New Zealand netball team. It's Virgin Islands, 40 islands of which 15 are inhabited. It's a team of one, Lyle Hodge, or Lintel Hodge rather, ended in the 100 metres and 200 metres. An Ireland shirt. Brunei, it's the boxing manager. They say they've chosen him because he's strong enough to carry the flag. And in there somewhere, competitor number 340, His Royal Highness Prince Haji, second brother to the Sultan and one of the richest men in the world. He's not staying in the village. He's taken over a floor at the Regent Hotel. Travels to the events by Rolls Royce. An enormous team from Canada led by Tom Ponting, 24 years old swimmer, competes in the butterfly events. Won a bronze in the 100 metres behind Andy Jamison, a member of the BBC commentary team here. Looking at the Canadian flag being carried around the arena, I'm reminded that Ben Johnson was the flag bearer four years ago. Women, uh, red and blue jackets with dark blue Bermuda shorts. The men, similar jackets with white trousers. <laughs> Hosts of the first ever games in Hamilton in 1930. Canada represented in every game since. Of course, the next host for the Commonwealth Games in Victoria in 1994. The team carrying tiny Canadian flags.
Street tops only 16. With the flag, only four competitors in this group. The rest are officials. Dark blue blazers, cream trousers. Most of the team are cyclists. Cook Islands have got a lot of support here. About 25,000 Cook Islanders live in Auckland, I'm told. Made up of 15 islands, the population of only 20,000, so most of them must be here. 24 competitors. Women in the green and white paro dress. Perhaps the most colourful team so far. Marius Adjian Trio, triple jumper from Nicosia, won the last Mediterranean Games in Damascus. The uniforms in blue and white. Include uh, the youngest competitor, Elena Vajianu, who's only 13 in the gymnastics. Next, it will be England. England! Karen Briggs, the judo player, four times the world champion, carrying the cross of St. George. Only the second woman ever to carry the flag in the Commonwealth Games. Women in blue blazers, biscuit coloured uh, skirts, a similar colour combination for the men, are all carrying a red rose. So I'm sure sooner or later we'll find place for some lucky supporter in the crowd. Ever present are the 14 Commonwealth Games. Just look at the faces. Some famous, some destined to become famous. final appearance in any track event. I wonder if the 90s will start Portland, the way the 80s went for him. What a cheer for the Falkland Isles. And what a journey they've had. Two competitors, they've travelled 40,000 miles to get here via London, and their trial was held on the only flat strip of ground in the Falklands, the airport runway. They've got two distance runners, and... The uh, Gambia! That was their coach you saw, by the way, uh, Sarah Dixon, a local PE teacher. And they're followed by Gambia. In traditional national costume. All their competitors are athletes. Their first games, Edinburgh in 1970. Ah. The Ghana team manager, Joe Quarteng. And the uh, multicurrent traditional Kenti costume. <laughs> 